back to a brand new video. Today's video is going to be about how to use Torqueboard's 218 millimeter trucks um, and also using Evolve's GT series all-terrain conversion kit with the massive 7 inch pneumatic tires. So as you may know, these tires work best with the trucks that Evolve had. The problem is that it's $85 for the rear and $70 for the front, which is $155 as opposed to the $65 for the 218mm trucks, and you're also forced to use motor mounts that aren't very customizable. So you might be asking yourself, why not just use the torque for its 218mm trucks? The problem is that when you have the um, wheel pulley bearing and the wheel on the axle, it does not fit and you can't even bolt them to the truck. So the video today is going to be about how to modify your truck so that you can use the 7 inch tires on your torque ports trucks. Okay, so basically what I did is to make the axle longer. So I clamped the truck down uh, into a vise and then I just took the hacksaw to the truck and sawed all the way around the hanger of the truck until I reached the axle. It took about an hour for me to do it and I was just sawing constantly. So it's a very, very tiring process. If you have something like a Dremel, it might work better. Um, I've seen a video of someone doing that, but a hacksaw works fine, it just might take a little bit of time, and you want to make sure that you're going in a straight line because the bearing for the pulley is going to be touching this part, and you don't want that crooked and hitting the bearing in the wrong way. Um, so just be persistent, and this process may take a while, but ultimately it'll get your all-terrain wheels to work on these trucks. So. Okay, so once you've fully uh, sawed down to the axle all the way around the truck, you can start using a screwdriver or something pointed to try to wedge your way in between the truck um, that, that is still part of the truck and then the part that you've just sawed off. You can tell that you've made it down to the axle because it'll start making a higher pitched noise and it'll just feel more solid than the, than the aluminum. Um, and from then you can just use a screwdriver to pry the bit of the truck you've just sawed off. Or you can just put the screwdriver in there and hammer it down, which is what I ended up doing because it's pretty um, tightly stuck on the axle. Next I used a rasp to sand down the edge of the truck that I just cut. This allowed it to be much more smooth so that when the gear pulley from the wheel is spinning there it won't be hitting any bumps or odd shapes that could cause it to uh, have more friction and heat up. Um, so it just makes it more smooth so that the wheel can spin more freely and flushly. It's also important to swap out the bearing inside the gear pulley. Um, a standard 8mm skate bearing has the exact same outside diameter as the bearing that Evolve uses inside their wheel pulley, so it'll fit in the same slot. It is a little bit thicker as you can see right here, but that's no problem. Um, it's just important that the inside diameter of the bearing is the size of the axle on the truck because the one that comes with the Evolve pulley is made for the step up axle that they have on the truck, which is either 10 or 12 millimeters. I can't remember, but this way it'll spin exactly um, circularly. Next, you can test if this actually works by putting the wheel pulley onto the axle and then putting the all-terrain tire. If you've done this right, there should be enough room to lock a nut onto the axle now. Once we figured out that everything fit together, we put these wheels on our 12S board that you may remember from one of our prior videos. We use the same 6374mm motor and the torque board's motor mount, as well as a 375mm belt, and it fits together wonderfully. Okay, now we have some running footage from the um, 12S board with the all-terrain wheels and the 218mm trucks. If you're into that kind of thing, keep watching. If not, thanks so much for watching this video. Subscribe if you enjoyed it. We have lots of new content about electric skateboards. Um, like the video, subscribe, and thanks for watching.